Okay, now we're going to show solar charging of this battery. So I've got the solar panel here, and this is a 220 watt solar panel rated at 26.9 volts at maximum power and 8.9 amps. So that 26.9 volts is going to be perfect for charging this battery because it's just a little bit above the voltage of this battery. That means that we don't need an MPPT charge controller in between. We don't even really need a charge controller in between as long as we manage the voltage and make sure it doesn't charge it to too high a voltage. Just for the moment, I'm going to show a very simple circuit which will allow us to charge it for a little bit. This circuit has a simple diode here which will stop any current going back from the battery into the panel. It has this amp meter and voltmeter and power meter attached. Now this is just about nine pounds off eBay and this shows how much power has gone into the battery. It also shows the voltage of the whole circuit and shows the current going into it as well. Now there are two very important things when you're charging a battery like this. Firstly, don't ever charge it over its maximum voltage. That's 25.2 volts for this battery or 4.2 volts for each of the individual batteries in here. Six of those in series makes 25.2 volts. Never charge it above that because you would risk a fire. In fact, it's better to charge it significantly below that. So I'll charge this to about 24 volts. The second is you must never charge it at too high a current because you'll create too much heat in these batteries. Now the rating of these batteries is to charge them fully in around about one hour, which would be 200 amps. I'm charging these at maximum 10 amps at the moment, so that's a 20th of that 200 amp charge that you could charge them at. And that actually generates 1 400th, 1 over 20 squared, 1 400th of the heat that would be generated in these if you were charging them at 200 amps. So I'm charging these very gently. There'll be very little heat generated in these, but you want to be very careful not to charge them too quickly, because if you charge them too quickly, then they could overheat and they could cause fire. So those are the two things, don't charge too quickly and don't charge to too high a voltage. And just before we start charging, I want to test very carefully the voltage of this battery. So I'm going to use this voltmeter here, which tests it very accurately. Just look at the voltage of it, and it is 20.83 volts, you can see there. So I'll just note that down here, 20.83 volts. So now we know very precisely the voltage of the battery at the start. We'll then test the voltage of the battery at the end, and that will show us how much of the capacity of the battery has been used up. We'll also know very precisely how much charge has gone into the battery. So knowing how much charge has gone into the battery, how much capacity of the battery that's used up, we'll then be able to approximate the total capacity of the battery. I'll show you how to do that in a later video, but for now I just want to concentrate on solar charging this battery. So first we're going to just lay the solar panel down so there's no current coming from the solar panel. Then we have the solar panel attached via this circuit here through the voltmeter and power meter and we simply attach this to the battery. So negative to the negative of the battery, positive to the positive of the battery. So I'll just lift up the solar panel now. Now the solar panel's in the sun, so the power will be going into the battery. And you can see via this power meter here, it's charging at 21.04 volts at the moment. You can also see the current that's going into it, which is around about seven amps. And then at the bottom here, cycling through it, showing you how much power has gone into the battery already. So what we'll do is we'll leave this on charge for the next few hours. We'll then take the charger off it, see what voltage it's got to, and that will show us how much of the capacity of the battery has been used up. We'll know how much power has gone into it because of what's said on this meter here. From that, we'll then be able to work out approximately what the capacity of this battery is. So we'll come back in a few hours. Okay, it's about four hours later now. And so the sun's gone round. We've charged from the solar panel. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna disconnect this and that's gonna stop it from charging. And then I'm gonna wait for a couple of hours for the surface charge on this to level out. And it's probably going to drop by a very small amount. And then I'm going to retest the voltage on this and that's to work out how much it's charged to. So I remove these first. Now we're not charging anymore but we've still got 
the power showing on this as 384.7 watt hours of charge has gone into this battery. So I'm just going to write down here 384.7 watt hours. So now we know where we started with the voltage, how much power has gone into it, and then in a couple of hours I'm going to test the final voltage. So it's a couple of hours later now. I just need to test the voltage of the battery now that the surface charge will have gone away, and then note that down. So the voltage now is 21.35 volts. I'll write that down here. Now I'm just going to go inside and do a calculation based on this and I'll show you that in the next video.